One of the traps that many first-time homeschoolers fall into is the fear of failure. And choosing the right curriculum is key to ensuring that you succeed. Now correctly identifying what type of homeschooler you are will help you to be able to do just that. We're gonna talk today about six popular homeschool styles or methods that will help you to identify your own homeschool approach. If you're new here, I'm Erin. I've been homeschooling my four kids for the last six years, getting ready to start our seventh year. Crazy. <laughs> I originally didn't plan on homeschooling our kids, but this is where God has placed me. And the longer I do it, the more convinced I am that this is what I'm supposed to be doing and the more passionate about it I become. My heart's desire is to help homeschool moms find real peace and joy in this journey of homeschooling. I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel for more homeschool videos. There are many different methods of teaching, and if you're new to the world of homeschooling, this may be something you've never thought about. Most people think of homeschooling as recreating the school setting at home, and the reality is that that couldn't be further from the truth. What are the different homeschool methods? Traditional homeschoolers are likely to have a room set up like a classroom, and they enjoy teaching their children like they were taught. It's generally the most structured of all of the methods of education, often with a schedule for the day based on traditional school hours, and it often follows the same calendar as local schools. Traditional schooling often involves curriculum that is laid out subject by subject for each child on their own individual level like in a normal school setting. This works best for parents who want a lot of involvement in their kids' education. They wanna have their homeschool run like a traditional school, and they prefer to use textbooks and workbooks as the main source of learning. And they want to be assured that their kids won't fall behind. The Charlotte Mason approach. It's very different from traditional school, but it's a beautiful form of education. It really resonates with me and we incorporate a lot of Charlotte Mason in our homeschool. Charlotte Mason homeschoolers spend a lot of time reading really good living books for subjects like history and science instead of textbooks. They use narration, which is basically recalling aloud what was learned from the reading, it focuses on copywork and dictation, things like nature studies, and incorporates beautiful things like artist and composer studies and handcrafts. The idea here is that education is a lifestyle, and this method emphasizes short and focused lessons and teaches to the whole child as a born person, utilizing character, spiritual, and intellectual training, and forming meaningful connections to the world around us. This approach works best for moms who want to have their homeschool be a peaceful and relaxed learning environment while providing a rich feast of education and they want to be able to include kids of all ages together for many of the subjects. In a nutshell, classical education is a more rigorous approach to learning based on the children's developmental stages, which is kind of how and when they process information as they grow and learn. These are known as the grammar, logic, and rhetoric stages. It involves reading a lot of rich classic literature, teaching truth, goodness, and beauty, and studying and asking lots of questions. It can also involve a lot of parent-led teaching, and it emphasizes the memorizing and analyzing of facts. Some of the goals of classical education is to cultivate a passion for lifelong learning and to learn sound logic and focus on deep understanding. This model of education might work best for moms who are more concerned about their child understanding Plato or Shakespeare rather than how to use an iPad. If you want your kids to learn Latin, have a strong knowledge of the classics, and learn how to think, not what to think, then this approach might be for you. Unit studies, which is basically where you choose one topic for a period of time and you base all of your school subjects around, around that one topic. I've got a video here that talks more about how unit studies work and shows you how to plan your own unit study if you wanna try this out yourself. You can buy prepackaged unit studies where all the prep work's done for you, or you can do it all yourself using any topic that you wanna cover. This method encourages interest-based education to develop a love of learning as parents can invite children to have a say in what they wanna learn about. 
This approach works best for moms who might have kids of varying ages and they want to do their studies family style, with each child perhaps having more or less difficult individual work to go along with it depending on their abilities. Moms who like to dive deep into one particular topic at a time and do lots of crafts and hands-on projects will love this approach. Contrary to the name, it doesn't mean that children don't get any form of education. This style is where education is truly self-directed by the child. It encourages the parents to not provide too much structure, but rather to allow learning to occur naturally. It's based on the belief that children are born curious and that they'll learn naturally when given the freedom to explore their interests and a vast array of rich resources. Unschoolers usually don't follow a set curriculum unless the child shows an interest in doing so, as well as they generally don't make children take tests, quizzes, or exams. This method works best for parents who dislike the structure of traditional schooling and want to allow their children the freedom to learn from the world around them, utilizing books and online resources to research areas of interest as they come up, exploring their own individual passions. Eclectic homeschoolers like myself tend to be drawn to different aspects of multiple methods of education and choose to incorporate parts from many different styles into their homeschools. It's a great way to blend what you view as the best part of each method into an individualized form of education for your family. This may mean using a traditional curriculum for subjects like science, using the Charlotte Mason method for other things like history, geography, and Bible. Maybe throwing in some unit studies periodically to change things up. Many homeschoolers fall into this category using resources from multiple curriculum publishers. It can require a little bit more work to compile resources since you aren't purchasing an all-in-one boxed kit. This method works best for parents who want to be able to customize the children's education specific to their needs, abilities, and interests. It's especially beneficial for families that may have a child that needs special attention in a certain subject or where their children have vastly different learning styles. I'm curious, after hearing a little bit about each of these styles, which style do you think fits you best? Or have you been homeschooling for a while and already have a method that you love and follow? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and share it out to anyone you think might find it helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Be blessed today. Bye.